Hello, in this short video I want to discuss the file.choose function in R and RStudio, which is a simple utility to find the path to a file on your hard drive. It is just a small issue that is not so important for statistics, but I often see students get a little bit confused, and therefore I would like to make a quick video. So we start by opening RStudio. So one thing to start with is that usually when you download a file, which can be a STATA file or SPSS file or R file, you do not want to double click on the file just to open it. You want to open the statistical software first, then identify the file and open it. Now here on the left, you see the console. This is where we can execute all R commands, but normally we always want to open a separate file where we collect all the code. So we start an R script. You can select that by clicking on the top left on the plus symbol and then on R script. And this opens a new blank screen where you can type a command. Here I already typed my first command, um, which is to open the RIO library, which is a library that has functions to import and export files into R. So it is important to always create the script file. Otherwise it will be impossible later to know uh, what steps exactly you took, what code you exactly used, what changes you made to the data, etc. Now, in this uh, Rio library, we can open files, but then we need to know exactly the name. And for that, I usually advise students to use the file.choose function. Um, but if you include that in the script, every time you run the script, the script will open a dialog screen for you to find the file. And of course, you do not want to do that every time you make a small change to the script. So we type file.choose at the bottom in the console window, not in the R script window. So at the bottom here, I've typed in the command file.choose. And when we then press enter, it opens this dialog screen. And there we can select the file we want to open and click on open. One quick side note, this window often appears hidden in for, especially for Windows users. So the dialog opens, but other than at the bottom of your screen, a new button appearing that, that links to this dialog window, you will still see just RStudio. And so people think that file choose didn't work, but it actually did work, it's just a little bit hidden. So once you have found the dialog screen, you can identify the file you want to open and click on open. But when you click on open, it doesn't open the actual file. The only thing it does is produce a string of text that you see here at the bottom left. That is the full path to the location of the file that you want to open. And then that you can use in the script itself. So with the Rio library, you would use the import command to open files. And so we have to give it the name, in this case, Dompol, the assignment operator to say that we assign the file that we open to this name dompol and then we use the import commands and inside the import commands you need to copy and paste the entire string that you get out of the file.choose command so instead of using import parenthesis file.choose parenthesis and parenthesis closing where every time you run the script you have to go back to that dialog screen you really want to put the full file name in the script itself and then you can run this script and it will work. Now you see an error message here. This is a mistake I made when I ran the code and a mistake that a lot of people actually make, which is I forgot I typed line one, which opens the library, but I never executed it. So after I saw that error message that it could not find the import function, I went back to line one, executed that line, then executed line three, and now the file is open. On the right, you can see these different tabs. And if you tap, click on the environment tab, you can see that the file is open. In the environment tab, you can see all the objects that are currently open in R. And in this case, that includes the Dompol file. And if I click on the little blue arrow that is in front of the Dompol name, I can see what I see here on the screen, which is a list of all the variables. And in this case, some information about uh, labels and formats. That is really all I had to say. I just wanted to uh, give a quick intro in how you open the R code file and how you use file.choose when using files on a computer where you do not know the exact location. Thank you.